at y'all first off, because I never got Rod's perspective. I never really talked to him. Being from Dougieville, what really influenced your decision to stay in and attend SMU? I mean, coming from Dougieville, obviously having the three state championship appearances in four years, it's, it's something like you never thought about getting out the city or you wanted to stay and get you one in the town. At first, for a little while, I wanted to leave and like go in somewhere else, but it was going to feel just a little better. Just by me doing it at home, since I ain't never get to finish and do it in the city, by me doing it in the city for Dallas, it was going to feel way better than going with it somewhere else. Most definitely. JD, uh, my thought, my question is for you. What's your, what's the, um, what's your expectations for the next season, for the next upcoming season? Uh, honestly, my expectations for this upcoming season is just to touch touch the field this this year. Um, I red shirted, so I learned the year of the game. So I feel like um, I should be able to go out on the field this year and play and give it um, give it my all. Most definitely, most definitely. And for a lot of folks out there, they, let them, go ahead and let them know that you are in the transfer portal. Oh uh, yeah, cool. you know, transfer <laughs> breaking portal. news, breaking news. <laughs> 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 let me know, man. What's up? Well, we looking at, at least, we at least need the top three, man. We at least need the top three. I got you. You ready? Hey, we listening. We all is. This straight forward. HBCU. HBCU. <laughs> HBCU. Hey, I like it, though. Hey, I like sure. it. I like it. But we best thing in right now, man. Yeah. I like it, though. But we stay in the Texas? Oh, yeah, you know, I can't leave. Okay, so okay, okay. I cannot leave. I think so. I like where you're going then, bro. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. But you know what I'm saying? Being, being the fact that you wear a shirt this year, I would say that what was one of the biggest things that you learned this year? Getting that extra free year. Honestly, I learned a lot, but the the most thing that I was um happy with this year is I guarded like three NFL prospects this year. So I really feel NFL good. NFL players. NFL yeah. players now, but they were prospects. But and those you know. guys would be Grant Calcaterra. Yes, sir. Reggie Robertson. Yes, sir. And Danny Gray. Yes, indeed. Okay, my boy. Okay, my boy. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of yeah. people don't know, but Grant Calcaterra, you really a dog from oh, Oklahoma. Yeah. Colin Murray, he was a dog with Colin Murray over there. Yes, indeed. As far as that, because y'all some, some pretty high-class athletes, bro, look. Right, I gotta ask you, bro. What was it like seeing yourself on Monday Night Football on You Got Moss? Cause that that's where you Moss, dog. That ain't that ain't just no that's average job. I, I, I can cuss. I'm being in trouble. Yeah, you straight. Oh. Hey, this, <laughs> go ahead. No, I'm saying nah. That was loud, though. That was loud. That was like a dream come true. I ain't really believe it. People woke me up. They like Junior you on TV, but like I'm thinking I'm on the news or something from the recap of the game last night. And when the quarterback daddy, Chris Parson daddy, actually who used to play for Dunkerville. My junior, they played in the state championship. His daddy sent me a video on Facebook, and I don't never get on Facebook, but that day I just got on there just to see. <laughs> and he has messaged me a video. I'm looking. I'm like, what the hell, Dan? I go in the living room, turn TV on, I see it on TV. I'm like, damn, I want Randy Moss. He up there talking about me, number one. Yeah. <laughs> that was wild. crazy. It felt good, though. That's a league company, bro. That's yeah. a league company. To have Randy Moss talking about yeah. you, I know that feels great. That yeah, one of the best special. to ever do it. So who do you, who you model your game after as a receiver, bro? Probably, I say like mainly the little guys. Well, not little, but like the shorter guys, like yeah, shiftier guys. And stuff. Yeah, Tony O'Brown, Tyreek Hill, OBJ. Mm, nah, he too tall. <laughs> <laughs> he too tall. <laughs> nah, he ain't too tall, but he like he's short, but he long with it. I ain't long. I'm like I'm short. My arms yeah. short, legs short. But you definitely see the resemblance. Too. Yeah, I see it. Like yeah, I got the yeah. hands. Yeah, coming across the middle, middle. Yeah. catching across the middle, yeah, making play plays. Man. Yeah, I got all that, but I say like A B, Tyreek Hill. Um Damn, I ain't never even thought about this. Yeah. But I probably mainly say them two. I probably think of some. I don't know. But I know it's them two for sure though. A B or Julio, bro. A B all the way. Oh man. Man. Oh no, but that's oh, tough. Hey, that's hey, tough. Hey, 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 check this out. That's tough. Check this out. A B leading in all the stuff. We're gonna go out for numbers. Cause we go off for just size Man. and agility. You're gonna say, yeah, of course, Julio was six two, six three, two hundred some pounds. A B did what he did at like five nine, one seventy. 170. And he missed almost three years in the league and still like the receiver of the decade. 
Like, you can't argue with that. Julio's that man. I'm going to take Julio. Julio's that man, but he made the most catches that I have ever seen. Like, he's a human, bro. I understand that. Antonio Brown wasn't doing that for real, bro. He wasn't doing that for real. Not in his first game. If you pull up the stats, he, he got a point though. The, the best backup AB, the, the best, the best receiver there, ever in history, in yeah. their first six years of football is Antonio Brown. The last six years is Antonio Brown, and he missed a year with Panthers. He missed yeah. half a year with the Raiders. He only played a half a year. He was second string, coming off the bench and still leading with the Buccaneers. And then yeah. he missed his next year, and he's still leading catches, yards, touchdowns this last decade. How many seasons uh, Julio missed? Julio done missed probably about like two, yeah, maybe yeah. three years. He ain't been in shelf the last yeah, couple yeah, years, bro. Yeah. Julio done missed some time, bro. But I, you you got a point. The numbers back it up for AB. But I got to take Julio, bro. Julio now. Yeah, I get why they take Julio, though. Of yeah, course. Julio now. He yeah, yeah. yeah he, Julio. Like, he like that one every once in a while person that come around and just like like that DK Metcalf, something like that. Just yeah. big, fast, that you shouldn't even be able to move like that at that size. But this for both of y'all. Why be a dirt, bro? I got to ask. I got to. Ooh. <laughs> no, they're going. You said why be a dirt? Right answer, bro. Nah, I'm going. Uh, I ain't. That's my my favorite right little right. baby, but Dirk had with baby, but I'm I'm taking YB over Dirk. Okay, Dirk. I'm taking YB. That's what I like to hear. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna take Dirk over. Hey, yeah, bro. Look, look, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm not hating on that one though, bro, because I bump young boy. Young boy, like, he hard and talented. I cannot hate on anybody that's, like, grinding like that, bro. Like, yeah. he, he, do, he do his thing. But Dirk, he is the voice for real, bro. You just don't understand. <laughs> so I'm going with Lil Dirk. All right. So we already established the child that JD, JD rocking with Julio and Junior rocking with AB. Where do I think the landing spot's looking like for Where do you think Julio can potentially land? What do you think an ideal fit would be, probably? A team? Yeah. Be a free agent? Yeah, yeah. Julio's still out there. They were and AB. I think they're going to sign him. Like, I, 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 to be honest, I think they're going to sign him like for another year because the dude that's coming in, a rookie, so they're going to want to leave him out there be like receiver number one already. So the dude Julio that's up. coming out, they still have Julio be number one, but the other dude, uh, Traylon Burks, he'll be able to like still shine because if he's there by himself, yeah, he caused all the attention. It's gonna be hard for him. Nah, Julio in free agency. Yeah, they oh, ain't no, 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 no. Yeah, Julio, Julio ain't with uh, nobody right now. Yeah. Uh, well, it's gonna be one of them teams. I think he goes like the Niners or something. I can see the Niners. That's what I'm saying. That. Like one of them teams that like need to establish like a receiver group. I'm yeah, not even going. I'm not even gonna say the Houston Texans because I know nobody <laughs> even like. I ain't gonna lie, Carl. I would like it to see the Patriots nah, make a move on. Nah, Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> imagine somebody sent Devontae Parker their number one receiver. He probably got a Chicago or something. It looked like good fit. I can see Chicago. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be one of them unexpected Green teams. Green Bay or something. Green Bay. Bay. That ain't going to be good. He go to Green Bay. That's I am right. just going to get him right. Yeah, that's that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's not going to be good for the league. Uh, well, it's <laughs> AB. Somebody got to go there. Because a rod needs some help over there. But yeah. now the dude yeah. they drafted, he like a Julio. Christian Watson. Yeah, he's six four. He's gonna four two nine. Six I don't five. See, I don't see the the, the first year impact, yeah. bro. Probably not the it. first year, but he's gonna be like the Devontae Adams. After two, three years, he's gonna start evolving. But they still need some help though. They lost their number one, number two. They yeah. tight end coming off the ACL. JD, bro, born and raised. What was it like working with this ESPN production team and did you pick out the title, bro? As far as your, your ESPN series, well, not the series, but the special, the oh, special about they the, put together the for the me. video they made for me. Yes, sir. Um, well, I ain't gonna lie. When I came to SMU, they told me they was gonna make it for me. So <laughs> <laughs> when I got there, I was just working out, and they were like, "JD, be ready. We gonna get you a video." I'm like, "Okay, where you, where you trying to do it at?" They were like, "Where you wanna go?" I said, oh, I got to go back to Dunkerville with this one. But me not thinking, I could have did it like Julian out in there and showed where the brother went to school and all that. I'm just at Dunkerville in the weight room after work, yeah, with, my, <laughs> with my stuff on. They got you out there looking greasy. Man, looking greasy. Hey, you scoring? But, <laughs> nah, it was all a lie for real, though, man. It, that was a cool experience right there. So, make, that was like one, of, like one of the things that they promised you. I mean, they promised a lot of stuff. Ooh. Man, it's, 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 it's the truth. Man, it's the truth, isn't it, man? It's the truth, isn't it? All right. My question for y'all is, how has NIL deals impacted your recruitment or 
your recruitment or just the way you noticed or uh, any changes you didn't see in college football at all since the NIL deals done came around? Let me go first. You. He did. Uh, I wish it would have started before I went to school, cause it kind of was like legalized. Like it was after after I had already started school, so it couldn't really impact me that much. But it did help. The NIL it is good though. But it would have been a little better if it would have happened like before I got to college, like my junior senior year. Mm. So I probably would have been able to make just a little bit more money coming out of school, got some better deals. But it's all gonna be good though. Most mm, definitely. Um, with me, uh, yeah, I, same thing with he said. I'm going to dub back a little bit. I wish they would have had that back in high school. We was balling, cause boy. Money would have been good. <laughs> but, nah, man, it's just, um, bro, it's, it's really hard. Like, you got to really make a name for yourself as soon as you get to the school. If not, the NIL deals really don't matter to you right now. So it's like yeah. social media presence is a big thing? <laughs> What? If you balling on the field, it's a big thing. But if you ain't balling on the yeah, field, you ain't playing, playing, bro, you're not getting that NIL deal. You might get some. You got a hundred thousand followers and you ain't playing, making no plays. They ain't really gonna be paying don't you. Think about you might get a little company to pay you, but ain't really gonna be. You paying gonna get some Lucky's chicken. Don't think about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you seen what happened to Bijan Robinson from Texas? What he got? Uh, yes, yeah, I man. seen that. I seen. Dude it. got a Lamborghini. Do he get? You think he got That's it? Or you think? He probably ain't got it right now, but I bet you he's going to have a Lamborghini draft day come whenever he goes to the league. Well, yeah. he might have it right now. I don't know. That's Texas. You know, Texas, they way down the whole other level. Oh, yeah. That's definitely where they get them from with the crew. Damn, Me, myself, is not a Texas fan. Ooh. <laughs> you know, like, all the recruiting, top five recruiting class every year. But look, how many people they had got drafted? Zero. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You can have top class. You know what you're going to do with the players, though. None of that matter. Then the season come down and you finish in the top 25. That's what I'm saying. So you can have that, but they ain't putting the pieces together then. A lamb. I don't know. You said what? They bought him a lamb? Yeah, I think so. I think it was an NIL deal. The so Lamborghini, Lamborghini company Dillard gave him an NIL deal. Not they just bought the Lamborghini oh. company. Like He so probably going to get any lamb when they come out. Yeah. Need to get close with them, get, get them to give me a year. Nah, for real. <laughs> That's the type of stuff Olymp Olympic people get when they go to the Olympics or something. Yeah. yeah. So how would y'all describe, like, sharing the stage at Duncanville with other D1 athletes and then pros like Jemias Ramsey, JJ, uh, Chris Thompson. You got Big Smooth still over there doing his thing. Davion Sykes, we just had him last week. How would y'all describe going to school with, like, these dudes that are now, like, some of the best around? Well, um, to be honest with me, like, all them cool, like, you just got to, like, really, bro, don't be all uh, hating on everybody, but everybody at Dunkville really be cool, well, in sports, for sure. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of talented people, bro. You learn a lot of stuff from different people, like, J.J. Jaquinda Jackson was one of the best quarterbacks out, and still is to me. Um... Because we were all winning, that's why everybody was cool. Basketball team, three, three, four time, what? Champs, man, I can't you can't hate on them, bro. It's like Duncanville just got a lot of dogs. That's yeah, all the track like program doing it. Oh yeah, right now as we speak, the real take off. It's where you want to be, at, bro. It's when everybody it's winning, good. it's like it feel better when everybody. It ain't good, okay? Football winning, basketball not winning, or basketball winning state, football not winning state. So football ain't as high as us. Are so we gonna downgrade them or like track? It just. Everybody for each other. All the sports support each other. Everybody treat each other like family. There ain't no, nobody above each other. Everybody the same. We all equal no matter what your resume is or what you done did on the field, on the court, on the track. We all the same. Now, hold on now. Hold on. I ain't going to lie to you now. The only teams I ain't really um, mess with on that mud really was soccer and baseball because every time the playoff come, they lose first and second round. I'm like, man, that's not the coach over here, man. Y'all need to go try that again because we going deep in the playoffs or to the championship. Y'all lose. We ain't talking about appearances, bro. We talk about making moves. We talk about getting deep down in there, bro. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Man. Uh, <laughs> man. So what's your thoughts on today's relationships, bro? That's, this is a topic that I like to really dive deep into. Oh, oh what? Today's relationships, modern society. With How, how do y'all think today's relationships are? How would you describe it? talking about like boyfriend-girlfriend relationship? Yeah, bro, sure. whatever you want to call it. I mean, you, if that's what you want to call whatever you do today, that's, that's what you call it. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do no relationships, bro? I don't do that. In this day and age. I know my boy JD, a lover boy over there. <laughs> Y'all better stop out there. 
I used to. You just had your friend. But in this day and age, everybody <laughs> real toxic, man. I don't believe in all that toxic stuff. Yeah. Right? Spell I it out for it. me, Kemp. I believe in it. I don't believe it. Spell it out for me. Came to the conclusion. That right, it's like toxic. I believe. It's like it's so many definitions. Everybody got their own meaning mm, to exactly. it. So it's like I believe it. It's, it's out there because that's how people act or think. But everybody, it just depends on what you think it is. So what do y'all think toxic is? Cause I don't really, I don't know. Ain't it like when somebody bad for you, but nah, you keep bro, running? Nah, like, like, I think, nah, I think hey, look, Kemp, like, like, you on a, you on the right, but I'll be like, say you messing with a girl, you know this outcome gonna happen if you do this, or you know she gonna get mad if you do this, or she know you gonna get mad, but she still do it, want the reaction, but still, like, keeping in cahoots and still messing with each other. Y'all know what's gonna happen or what it is, but that's being yeah. toxic. You know what the reaction gonna be, and you still doing it. Want the reaction, knowing what reaction you gonna re- like, what you gonna get? Man, toxic could be a, a couple different. Toxic things, is right? a lot of things, bro. <laughs> it get real bad out here, bro. You got girls that. Yeah, I don't know. What y'all we, think about the bad relationships? I don't. I ain't too want. big on it, bro. I ain't too big on it. I ain't gonna lie to you. Let me find out. I really think we like we too young for that. Yeah, like we supposed to have fun right now. Yeah, yeah. right now. So how much longer do you think you're supposed to just be having fun until you? So whenever you think it, do you need yeah. to have fun? Don't yeah. stop having fun <laughs> until it's time. Until you think so it's you time think to pack it's time to sit down, sit down somewhere, and sit in and enjoy your life. When I make, live when I make to NFL, that's when I'm gonna stop. <laughs> you gonna be just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now nah, for real. Hey, all right. And I got a question for y'all. What's the biggest thing y'all learned? From the Duncan, from the Dallas legend, original samples. What's the biggest thing y'all learned from him? Well, he the goat. I mean, like all football coaches, any football coach I ever met, like then told he gonna you be like story about Sam probably already right. Huh? I said every coach you done met probably done told you a story yeah, about like, Sam. Right? Coaches that didn't coach us didn't coach for. Him. I mean, play for him. I coached for him. He got yeah. coaches at the high level like college. Lee, his son went to the league now. And then like. Just playing for him, he gonna coach you, he gonna get on you, let you know you wrong. He gonna be there for you, you can go talk to him. If you need a father figure, he was a father figure to a lot of kids. He helped a lot of families, like when they was in need, a lot of people don't know, cause like, he wasn't ever cocky or bad on it, he was humble, cause his work just showed for itself what we do on the field. And all the programs he went to, he changed every one of them to a winning program, and ain't nowhere he went, and they just a losing program. Like, he a good coach though. He a good dude. Yeah, whatever program he comes up to, they're gonna be the talk of the town. Yeah. Jay, what you got for me, man? Yeah, I just wanna say shout out Cuz Samples. Um uh, he was always there for me, man. He done I done got kicked out of team probably about nine, ten times. <laughs> but me and Cuz Samples just had that bond, like after practice I just go talk to him. He just tell me what's up, like, hey, you need to stop doing this or you ain't gonna make it too far in life. And I start understanding after a while, like, oh, he really mean that. So I just thank Cus Sample for everything. What you think is the biggest difference between Samples and uh I believe this is the head coach Lashley? Yeah, head coach Lashley. What you mean, what's the difference? What's the, what would you say is the biggest difference between their coaching styles? Wait, why well, samples? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, cause Samples got like an old school coaching style, like he practice is mandatory, workouts is mandatory, like it's but it's old though, but he gonna be on the field every step of the way, like you mess up he there. Um Junior probably can answer the Coach Lashley part. I don't know about that one. I learned a little bit from Coach Lashley so far, but like it only was spring and it was more of a teaching type like teaching type of spring. We weren't just actually practicing every day because it was mainly us install, and we just getting started with the new coaches. So, like, as time go on, I get a feel of them, see what type of coach he is. But I can't just learn somebody from 14, 15 days of practice, and we only on the field, like, nine, ten of them days. But like J.D. said, Coach Sandwell, like, he going to be out there. He going to coach everybody, every position. He not just sitting back, chilling on the clock. He going to actually be working, teaching. And lastly, he be working, teaching, too. Like, he coach everybody, help everybody on the field. So... It's just he more of an older coach and probably more experienced than what Lashley is. So, like, I just learn more about Lashley as time goes on. Most definitely. Is y'all greatest little league of Pop Warner um, or even middle school moment that you can remember playing football? Ooh, I got you. <laughs> when I, um, uh, it was my sixth grade year. 
Nah, nah. Okay, so I went to Zen Wesley home. That's over there by Campbell. It's a, like, sorry. Bunch of Mexicans. <laughs> I was really the only black at that school, no cap. Um, so I'm on I'm in seventh grade. I had to play with the eighth grade team. And we go against Grana. I don't know if y'all know it, but it's a middle school named Grana. And boy, first game, I'm at touchdown playing with the eighth grade to score six touchdowns. And I was like, yeah, this is a moment never to forget. Like, I'm seventh grade playing with eighth graders and score six touchdowns on the on a Monday night, bro. <laughs> like, it felt real good. <laughs> I remember when JD came to Duncanville, it was like our eighth grade year. Yeah, it was right. all at the football game. See, y'all didn't get it as bad as us, bro. <laughs> they talking about some. But we finna win. We finna beat y'all this year. But we not worried about nobody. Yeah, we seventh grade year? Yeah, we beat them in seventh grade. Eighth grade year, though. Bray got the best of us. But yeah. JD did. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> eighth grade year, they was not doing nothing. Coach, Coach Ford, bro, handing the ball to JD every time. All right, bro. Hey, <laughs> look, I don't want to talk about that. What happened, hey, what happened that's, Car? That's why I said they got it. They didn't have it as bad as us, bro. No, they didn't beat us like, that bad, but. No, 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 no cap, bro. You right. When, when JD got the Duggerville, bro, that's all we heard, like. I'm talking about we in class. Jay, Jay sitting here telling me and Dominique, like, bro, JD coming for y'all, bro. Isaiah telling us. And I'm like, bro, who is this JD dude, bro? Oh, who is JD? I'm not worried about this JD dude. We get up against him, bro. We play against him. I ain't going to lie. I tried to set the tone. I gave him a little, 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 little shoulder after the play. Oh, God. Next, next play after that, he didn't even get the ball. That's the crazy part. He didn't even get the ball. He was the lead block. I'm talking about, I'm meeting him right on the sideline. JD ran straight through me. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm talking about, bro, I got up. I'm I'm screaming. I'm like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm going back and forth with him. And I, and I can barely talk. He didn't knock the wind out of me, bro. I'm like, I can't even, like, I really can't even say that to him. Because the snatch my head went off and everything, bro. My buckle came off. It was probably, like, one of my worst moments, bro. Man. Yeah, that wasn't too good. Yeah. <laughs> and with Rod, I remember freshman year, who was the first game? I think it was, like, Plano East or something. I think he fumbled the ball or something on one side yeah. of the field. And cut it back to the other side and score. I was like, damn. Bro, actually, it was kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, I thought I was sorry when I first got fresh. I thought you were sorry because uh, <laughs> my cousin like, kept telling me about you. He was he like, was like bro, Junior going to Duncanville. I was like, who was Junior? He was like, I played Pop Warner with him. I'm like, bro, Pop Warner ain't no. I was like, this ain't oh, God. Pop Warner, bro. I was like, that shit not finna translate, probably. I ain't gonna lie, seeing his ass, he did that. But yeah, he nice. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You hear about somebody coming to Duncanville, bro? Well, back then, we really didn't, we really didn't think Yeah, I ain't, yeah, I ain't yeah, know. I thought everybody from Duncanville was, was really just the coldest people in the, in the city, really. That's how we thought. Yeah. I know that's how I thought. The thought around the clear boys came and took over. <laughs> All right, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Who the celebrity crush, man? Who the celebrity crush? Ooh, celebrity. Let me see. Hold on. I got it. Hold on. You know, I'm a father. How many can we pick? Hey, I don't care how many you got, my boy. I got a couple myself. Lord London, top of the chain, though. Boy. <laughs> um, I got making good. Make yeah. Good. Making good. Mm. When she was on West Deep. Oh, yeah. I got Neil Long for Friday. Oh, yeah. And... Last. Y'all ain't got all your money? Nah. Hey, I got you. Here go no. I got um, <laughs> Megan. Megan who? The Stallion? Come on, man. The <laughs> oh, okay. I need the Stallion in my life. <laughs> the Heidi Ace. And then, uh, uh, what's um, Pam off um, Martin? Oh, uh, JD, you, you for real, bro? Pam used to look good. Yeah, man. Man. She looked good. Look crazy. We talking about everybody hates Chris. We That's a different one. I ain't different. never heard nobody say That's that. That's a one. different one. Right? <laughs> nah, boy, Pam really used to look good. And then, uh, what's the one off, uh, set it off set in it the up. beginning of it when she was in the team? bank? Yeah, whatever on they robbing the bank and then they fired her because she knew who was robbing the bank. Huh? She uh, looked good too. Jada Pinkett? Yeah, whoever it is. Uh, boy. But stop hating on me, man. Jada Pinkett? 
Are you sure you want that, bro? That's what I'm saying. They the proof. Oh, shit, I'm too good. That's all she'll pull. Nah, that's the real. That's real. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. What that real smack. Yeah. Oh, dang. Never mind. I come up here and not yeah. taste that, my man. You keep it wise. No, no, no. No, all your all your son's kids will be at threat of dating her. So oh. you just definitely don't want to. Hey, I yeah, seen on Twitter, bro. Somebody was like, if he's mad like this in March, just imagine how he's going to be in August, bro. You can't even say nothing of that. Like, I feel bad for Will sometimes. He just sad that whole month. <laughs> I feel <laughs> bad for Will sometimes. But he really a cool dude, though. She, she just really putting him up through hell. She putting that nigga through hell. Nah, yeah. he not she, cool. He crazy. So no black man go through, 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 he's, through he's trauma like that. Up. She, that putting cool. the, she putting the Kardashians on him. <laughs> Them Kardashians be, man, they tear careers down. Nah, for mm-hmm. real, though. All right, I need top, what's our top three artists right now? Okay, okay. Uh, Lil Baby. Uh, okay. The Lil Wayne of the generation. Then I'm going ESTG, Louisville, mm-hmm. Kentucky. Then after that. Hmm. You know what Cap? Rallo? Nah, that's not, they're not up there. They're all right. They're not up Man, there. Man, he no. crazy. I thought like <laughs> I'm going to go Young Boy after that. After ESTG, I'm going to go Young Boy. Young Boy? Yeah. <coughs> Man. Hey, hey, but we all know who the official three is. Is 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 young boy? <laughs> no more. Jerk. Nah, nah, not for me. I'm saying like just official. Just hear me out. Oh, okay. It's okay. young boy, Dirk, and and little baby. Them the three right there. Like it's it's some more hard future and all them, but like them three right there, them do numbers. Okay, my like, future just dropped a little bit to me. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's my that's that that probably one of my all time. Like you didn't like the tape that JD? Nah, I ain't like it that much. Well, he ran that. Not too he, he, he was kind of mediocre. Yeah, he was all right go, playing. Bro. But my three, Rod Wave, Lil Durk, and No Cap. We know he was going to say that. I think the whole Metro place knew about that one, my boy. He was going to be the damn saying, boy. Man, that's funny. Hey, can I ask y'all something real quick? What's up? Yeah, I remember that um middle school year when I took off on y'all in basketball. Don't bring up when I got rocked, man. We ain't got to talk about that. <laughs> I'm talking about when we went to the playoffs and I took off, had about 30 by. Oh, who? Um, Kenneman. But not Reed, not Reed. Reed did us bad with T. Nah, Tyler you, Quinn. That, wait, hold on. Yeah, Seventh grade year. Seventh grade year. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, you said eighth grade year. I, mean, I said eighth grade year. I, I ain't really play that much. But eighth grade year, I was doing my thing. Dude. Yeah, and I, and I did my thing. All of y'all, they kicked y'all out the play. Uh huh. So, what, what happened to eighth grade year, JD? <laughs> boy, I ain't even gonna say. I ain't even gonna say that. Oh. I'm just gonna say I pinned your, your little layup about the bad boy. You boy, know? you can you ain't talking about bad boy. Swear to God, he did. He did. Let him know. He did. Let him he did. Let him know. He did. Yo. Bird didn't really have no team, but well, he just turned like, up every time we stepped in they arena, fam. Yeah, like, but every time ours, we though. seen JD, Isaac, Jalen, <laughs> but we like, yeah, it's time to eat. Not <laughs> a, not not against us though. Bro, y'all only had TQ, bro. But neither one of y'all could beat us, though. <laughs> bro, to y'all had it. the Tyler dude in middle school. T- Tyler Green was Tyler's six. Tyler's in the biggest. Like, come on. Nah, man. nah, nah. Cool. How tall was Jabari? Bro, Jabari was trans. Jabari, Jabari. Oh, man. And Taz, Taz won. Man, come on, bro. Taz won the best either, bro. Ballers, they was football players. Man. It was y'all was a team full of football players. Yeah. All right, man. So, look, this is my last question for y'all. Who would you like to see on straight forward next? And I want y'all to keep in mind, whoever it may be, it's the only stipulation. You got to help us get them on here, bro. Who you want to see next? I ain't going to lie. To me, you're going to turn up with my boy, Jaylene. My boy, he going to turn up for you. Okay. Straight out of Madison. Jaylene record? Yeah, for sure. And then probably got to get my boy, Double R, up here. He one cool cat, funny. Okay. For sure. And uh, one more for me, I'm going to say, if not Duck, shoot, um, you can get Veer, um, 96, SMU, Veer Leveston. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get my boy up here, man. Y'all got to get one of them three. All right. Yeah, hopefully, we can get T. New up here or and something. Oh, yeah. T. New, too. Chef New. Chef New. Yeah, there we go. That's <laughs> Chef New right there. <laughs> Okay. Ryan, who you want to see, bro? My boy Isaiah with Kobe, my roommate. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to try to make something happen. Hey, there, Educator. Yes, sir. Man, 
But we appreciate y'all coming out here, man. This is straight.